is that Governor Hope Uzadima is going a very wrong direction that they might not end up well with. For what happened yesterday has simply displayed criminality in governance, yes. thuggery in governance, yes. and is creating unnecessary tension where there's no need for it. Imo today is very unsecure. For the first time since nine years. Now, you go to Olu, you see killings in Olu, that even the Air Force fighter jets, for the first time in history after the war, would come round Olu. You see, yesterday alone, 10 houses were burned in Uguta. Every day, people are being killed in this state. People are being intimidated by the governor and his dogs. Now, I do not know what the governor wants to achieve, but I think he wants to make everybody fear him. Mm. He has also introduced a law in the most state uh, through the most uh, House of Assembly that empowers him to detain people at will. That law is barbaric and must be condemned. Mm -hmm. Now, Governor Hope Uzodima is busy chasing shadows of violence mm -hmm. and living performance. Mm -hmm. Since he came to office, what he has achieved so far is demolition of 1,000 bed hospital in Douglas Sumter Hospital, built by me. He has demolished the tunnel at Port Harcourt Road, built by me, on the reason that it is substandard. And to today, more than 50 excavators and payloaders cannot break the tunnel. They left it there abandoned. He has also demolished all the roundabout that has brought beauty and safety of roads in our society. And he's not replacing them with anything. Now he has left that. Rather than making peace, he wants to rule by intimidation. And that is not acceptable in any way. A wise governor who has not paid his workers, who has not paid teachers, who has not paid pensioners, who are sacking isopathic workers, sacking teachers as well, pay some and leave some. Now, the wisest thing to do if he does not have money, he does not have money. He does not have money. If the governor does not have money, he should have used good speeches to appease the people. But unfortunately, the governor is inciting violence on, day, on daily basis. Now, he has taken a personal attack on me and my family, and I have not done anything in return yet. At all. First, the governor reported matters to EFCC, to ICPC claiming that I used the Imo money to build some properties. The, mon the case has been in court. Until today, there has never been any proof by any court of competent jurisdiction that has traced any government fund to any of my account. But yet, Hope has insisted in reporting the cases every day to ICPC and CPC. When he saw that he's not making headway in EFCC, now he turned back to use the police. 
But I must say today that the act of the government house police yesterday should be brought to question. Yes. And I want to ask that the Inspector General of Police should direct immediately the arrest of Chinas and Wane. And Eric Uwakwe, who led the talks. Most of them, two of them were people that have been in, in criminal and robbery activities in the state. Yes. I saw them yesterday, mm -hmm. and he led these people and literally removed his shirt, mm -hmm. his Ishiago and one shirt with knife mm -hmm. and gun, mm -hmm. macheting my, my oddly, macheting my staff, Chai. shooting Dr. Uzo, my in laws, Catherine, his face. Yes. And the police were there watching, watching. all these yes. things happen. Because the police came from the government house. Yes. Now, I still want the Inspector General of Police to investigate whether those are policemen or their talks brought outside wearing police uniforms. Yes. Yes. Because I don't think that any sane policeman. Mm -hmm will act in the manner they acted yesterday. Yes, sir. One of them also who had beard, who claimed to be a soldier. I don't think he's a soldier. The one that actually stabbed someone with knife in my presence. Now, that shows that there's complete breakdown of law and order in the state. And I don't think that any same governor will want to govern a state of violence. Now, concerning the hotel in question, Hope Uzodima, Commissioner for Land, went to that hotel, which I requested my wife to come down home and invest for the purpose of creating jobs and helping our people. Yes. I was never a poor man before I became governor. Yes. And when I came here, I brought my children to invest. I brought everybody to invest because I believe in this state. And most of these people who are fighting me do not have one single investment. Now, the commissioner for land went there and arrested all the people including guests of the hotel, before even putting the padlock that he claimed that he put. Why don't you put the padlock first? Then if anybody still go there, they can arrest him. Yes. But he arrested these people and brought them to police station and have been staying there since. And the police also has the audacity to keep innocent citizens without conscience because the government have directed. Now, and the amount of shooting that took place in that hotel were more than 200 gunshots. Who are you shooting? Who do you want to kill? That is my question. Do you want to kill your citizen that you are governing? That again is my question. So hope Uzodima must be called to order. Now, the what shocked me yesterday was after Chilasa and his friend and the talks came chanting their song. The police was were aiding them, following them behind while they are making the shooting. And when I asked them, where are you from? They said they are from government house. And who directed you? They say it was Governor Ho Puzo. Now before my going to Akachi, let me say it here clearly. I called the commissioner of police. I called the deputy commissioner of police and they said they are not aware of any policeman in Akachi. Okay. I called the director of SSS, and that SSS, she said she doesn't know about anybody in Akachi. That's why I decided to go and find out who are the policemen in that place. On arrival, one lady was laying ambush with talks. And the talks came with machet, macheting all the people. Now, it took constraint for me to tell my aides not to release any light bullets because there would have been deaths yesterday. I hate to see my hand with blood. Now, but they took advantage of that and did what they did. 
to the extent that they destroyed all my cars mm. and used bullets to fire on all my cars. Mm. Today, all my cars are still parked there, all destroyed. Both my staff car. What hope Uzodema is doing is not good. Few days ago, few weeks ago, he went to Eastern Palm University and shot down the university shut up, shut up. Where, children, where children are going to school every day. And I said, that is not the way to do it. A governor who came through court should have known to respect the rule of law. Yes. Yes. If a matter is in court, you cannot use the executive yes. power yes. against the court power. But this is what Bob Uzodema is doing in the state. But for the timely intervention of the presidency in this matter, Imo would have been in a different state by this morning. But I want to thank the presidency and those who intervened in this matter. Because in the manner that hope led by Chilasa, and all of you know who Chilasa is in this yes. You know his track record. I know that he shared the same track record with hope. Who's on yes. We shall resist them. Criminally governing this state. We'll deal with I have reported to all concerned. I've told everybody and I've told them I'm a man of peace. But hope was the man must never take my calmness and my peaceful disposition for granted. Enough is enough. I governed this Imo State for eight years. There was no record of me arresting anybody. I was the most abused governor. People abused me, but I never, in any way, any day, arrested a man. But today, it's on record that Hope Uzodima arrested a widow, kept her for 22 days, saying that she did contract with him State. She should explain where the money is. He arrested a house member and locked him up. <laughs> he had been arresting people and intimidating them. Some of them can't even have no voice to say. Yeah. But what shocked me yesterday was the way one lady beat up my commissioner for transport, Lasby Ocaf, tore his shirt and took his shoe. Beat up my ADC, and the police were there watching from government He was even touching you. Now, at the last, when I wanted to go out, they refused. And the talks were all over, and I've macheted all my people. I didn't, I didn't go there with the, enough people. So now, they, they took me inside the pickup. And when I went to the pickup, then when he has audacity to climb the back of the pickup, <laughs> as a commissioner of police, <laughs> directing what to do. When he came to the, to the, uh, to the police headquarters, he was also moving from office to office and asked him, are you now the commissioner of police? <laughs> If our police were vented in this image, then there's a sense of insecurity in this country. I want to call on IG to immediately arrest Waneri, and I'm going to put the official report. And if Waneri is not arrested and dealt with according to law, with the talks that have come, then, then there's no, no police. No police, and I say, no police has the right to arrest any citizen. If they cannot arrest one area, and I question him this, rather than arresting one area who was shown on video with matches, and arresting the other boy who was there and all the talks, they went and arrested the innocent citizens. Oh, look them, even my cleaners. My house, help. <laughs> all of them are and put in the police station. Nice. Oh. And when he knows that what he's doing has gone wrong, he quickly ran to court as usual. <laughs> Usually magistrate court. And give his stand this thing to, to, to detain them. Okay. They should not take the they should not take the peaceful disposition for granted. I have said police must arrest one area. And if the police cannot arrest one area, they have no justifiable reason to arrest any citizen in this country. Yes.
as a city senator, I've made this and I want to really try and come to say why he will act in the way he acted by shooting innocent citizens oh, with gunshots, wow. scattering their neck and shooting their head. Hey. Now they're in the hospital bleeding. Hey. And all one of could say is that we have one governor and there's one immunity. Hmm. Immunity does not allow you to kill innocent citizens. Oh. Hope Uzodima must take the part of caution. And I saw one. And he must stop this fuck. Wow. He thought by doing this, then he will say he have intimidated Rochas. Mm, so when Rochas is intimidated, his followers will run away. That's his strategy. Yeah. 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 But let me warn him yeah. Yeah. that I said to him, I said to the police yesterday, I want to stay in the police station for three months. <laughs> and I don't want to go. Yeah. So by, by 11 o'clock or thereabouts, I had them say, you can go. <laughs> but I would prefer to stay there till justice is made right. What I'm seeing in Imo State is clear cut injustice. Choice. I must never be allowed to have it. Yes. We must say no to this. So I want to urge you to remain calm, remain peaceful as I always preach, no. and watch what the law will do in this matter. But what the governor who ought to make peace, nobody is disturbing him, nobody is quarreling with him. He goes with the resources of him State the way he likes. Now, he has not done one single project except patching of the roads that I built. And I'm sure one day, you won't be, be surprised, he will come and commission the projects I have built. Because he doesn't show anything on ground. Let me remind him, he cannot be judged by the number of people he locked up or by intimidation. He will be judged by the performance he has done for the people. Let him build one hospital and we can clap for him. Let him build one school, we can clap for him. Let him do one fresh road, one road started by him, not the roads I've done, then we can clap for him, but not to intimidate people. Once more, I want to thank you. God bless you. Okay, I'll just go to the chapel.